Creating a grading. In this exercise, you will create a set of gradings called a grading group that form a runoff on the side of, a, of an embankment. We're going to create a grading group and specify grading creation settings. And we're currently within uh, grading dash two with the modifications we made from the previous exercise. And then we'll just go into the home tab, the create design panel, go under grading, then grading creation tools. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for, uh, for beginners. I know there's a lot of beginners that, that get into Civil 3D and they get kind of confused by gradings and, and things like that, but uh, there, there are other more seasoned folks that are out there that, uh, that are looking to find all the bells and whistles within uh, grading. But these live streams, again, they're for beginners. All right, so we got our Create Design Panel, Grading Dropdown, Grading Creation Tools. In the Grading Creation Tools toolbar, we're going to set the grading group. This is this button right here, Set the Grading Group. We get our Create Grading Group dialog box. We're going to name it Ditch Drainage. And we want to have automatic surface creation checked because this is going to create a separate surface for our grading group. And it's kind of nice having just something that's, that's separate from maybe your proposed, I don't know, maybe you have several ponds that you're dealing with. You know, maybe you have different ponds, maybe different pond designs. And it's kind of nice having the automatic surface creation to where you have a separate surface that gets created that just doesn't get just put into maybe your proposed surface because maybe you want to make changes to your proposed surface. So that's what's, that's what's kind of nice about uh, this setting. But we're going to automatically create a surface and we're going to create a volume based surface because we, we want a volume. And this is essentially our comparison surface right here, e.g. Then we're going to click OK. We get our create surface dialog box and it's already named, which is nice. We can assign it a style if we want to. Style list. Let's see if there's a ditch in here. No ditch. We'll just leave it on standard. Click that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, select a criteria set by clicking that button. And remember when we created the ditch criteria set in, pre in a previous stream. So we select that, then click OK. And you can see within this dropdown, we have all three of the grading criteria that we created for our ditch. And if you haven't seen the, the previous stream with this, I think I did it last week. So we're going to ensure that this is the one distance at negative 6% is selected. Then we're going to select this dropdown. We'll expand this just a little bit more. This is our criteria. In the style list, we're going to select ditch. There it is. Now it's time to create the gradings. And we do that by clicking this button here. Now our command line is asking us to select the feature line. We're going to select AB. And we're going to select above the feature line to select the grading side. So we're, we're basically telling um, Civil 3D that we're, we're going up and away from, uh, from this feature line. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Click over here, the entire length. Yes. We do want that. And now it's asking us to specify a distance. How far do we want to go with this grading? We're going to keep the distance 10 feet. I believe that's even assigned right here in our grading criteria. So it are, it's already specified, but it is unlocked. So if you want to change it, you can go ahead and change it if need be. So the distance is 10. I'm going to accept that and you can see what happens. We get this little graphic right here that shows us our grading. I'm going to press escape to exit out of the command. But whenever you have a grading, if you're new to Civil 3D, if you don't know what a grading is, if you see something kind of weird that has a diamond shape in the middle of it, that's a grading. Plus, you can also see by selecting this little symbol here, and you can, t you can see that it's a, it's a grading. If I zoom out, let's see what happens if I zoom out and do a regen. It'll still show up. From way out here, if I do a regen all, you can still see that grading diamond. So that's nice. If I do a regen all once again, that diamond gets smaller. And this white line is our original feature line. If I'm trying to select my feature line, when I click on it, I'm getting the grading. But I don't want the grading. I want the feature line. If I right click, and selects, I'm going to send the grading to back. 
Now when I select that feature line, oops, it's not what I want. Now it's selecting the, uh, the 10 surface. I don't want that. Send it back. Now it's giving me the feature line. How far out am I on this grading? Do you remember what that number was? If I do a distance, if I do a, uh, I'm gonna move this off to the side for a second. If I go to annotate linear and go from, I don't know, here, perpendicular to this line, well, it's about 10 feet. Distance from here, perpendicular, about 10 feet. Why is it not giving me that line dimension from here to here? There we go, 10 feet. That's the distance that we went at negative 6%.